Good afternoon. Our opening prayer this afternoon is short, but it is filled with meaning. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. What a genuine pleasure it is to welcome you to this long-awaited moment, the dedication of our Mozilla Family Center for the Arts. Although we are together virtually this afternoon, you could not be closer to us as we unite our hearts with all of you who have been a part of this amazing journey to this moment. Today, each of, of you is present with us in our memory, in our Veritas spirit, and in our very grateful appreciation. Today is a singular moment in Flintard Sacred Heart's almost 90-year history. This long-awaited dream, this Mozilla Family Center for the Arts, will bring together all our young, talented young women, singers, dancers, actors, artists, musicians, stagecraft persons, and comedy sports entertainers, to one beautiful state of the arts, Art Center. Can you imagine the joy, the energy that's going to fill this building when our young women are able to come together, continuing their visual and performing arts education in this state of the art space? We are grateful to each and every donor who has contributed to this moment from the smallest gifts to the largest. I especially want to thank the Mazzello family for their commitment to this project. Angelo and Phyllis Mazzello are at the heart of this celebration, and I have counted on Phyllis's heavenly intercession throughout this endeavor. She has not failed me. Gratitude fills our hearts this afternoon for each and every one of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our current Board of Directors Chair and alumna of Flintridge Sacred Heart, Sarah Seema McCann. Thank you, Sister Carolyn, and hello, Flintridge Sacred Heart community. I am deeply honored to be with you today and to participate in a moment worthy of celebration. Flint Ridge Sacred Heart has long recognized the value of an arts education, and the Mozilla Family Center for the Arts realizes our visual and performing arts vision. This new building is a gift to our Tologs, a house of dreams and a space of permanence. The arts are critical to the Tolog experience as they complement and enhance diverse academic subjects. I recall days of doing jetés across the dance classroom, which was a low ceilinged basement, a ceiling so low you could almost hit your head with a good jump. I am so excited for our girls today, who will literally and figuratively be able to reach new heights in these new and state-of-the-art classrooms. Study of the arts is essential to the holistic experience we value on the Hill, and it honors our commitment to the formation of well-rounded young women. This building will be utilized for years to come as emerging artists explore and develop their creative talents in a facility that supports and inspires their artistic endeavors. I'm delighted we are gathered to dedicate this truly beautiful space, a remarkable achievement, especially during these challenging times. Today is very much a celebration of our future. However, this building is also a symbol of what is possible when we come together as an extended community. I would like to take a moment to reflect upon the journey that brought us here today. As we know, every grand vision has its challenges, and we did face challenges, some quite unforeseeable in fact. But we all recognized this endeavor was worth achieving. The girls remained at the forefront of this initiative every step of the way, and together we were able to overcome the obstacles. It was through the perseverance of the sisters, leadership of the board, generosity of our donors, and the support of our friends that we now have a structure to sculpt dreams, express truths, and influence our world. 
This project pushed us at times to regroup, rethink, and reimagine. In turn, we created programs that further benefited our students and families. The busing program, for example, emerged as a solution for reducing hillside traffic. And as a result, the girls enjoy camaraderie, parents appreciate shorter commutes, and we increased our reach into communities. Positive solutions to challenges we faced. This building will last forever in the memories of those who work, learn, and play within its walls. Its spaces will serve as a canvas upon which life lessons take shape and the stage upon which memories will be replayed. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I want to express our heartfelt appreciation to our supportive community and all who contributed to the culmination of this vision. I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge Sister Carolyn, her incredible leadership, fortitude, and vast capabilities. It is through her faith and dedication to our school's mission and her commitment to our girls that allows us to realize this moment. I want to thank the current and previous boards for their stewardship and resolve in making this vision a reality. Thank you to our generous and philanthropic donors and the Mozilla family for their exceptional contribution and support. For you all, we are grateful. Thank you for celebrating with us today. Thank you, Sarah. Now, please join me in welcoming Lauren Gamelik, current student body president and passionate actress in the theater arts program at Flintard Sacred Heart Academy. I've learned over my course at Flintard Sacred Heart Academy that art is essential to life. In all forms, it supplies solutions to problems, sheds light on significant and worldly issues, and brings communities from all aspects of life together. Additionally, it provides students with a much needed outlet for their creativity. And if you've been able to see any production, concert, show, or gallery that the Visual and Performing Arts Department has put on, you'll know the immense creativity and talent our Flintard Sacred Heart students have. I'm personally very, very excited for the unveiling of the new Arts Center because I have been actively involved in the theater department for the past four years. This same Arts Center is where I fostered my original love for performing. It gave me the space to grow and develop as a young adult, as well as an ambitious and dedicated actor. I had such an amazing and impactful experience being a part of our arts community that I'm now pursuing acting in musical theater in college. I want all future art students to have such wonderful experiences as mine, and with this new art center and all the opportunities it has to offer, I know they will. It reflects so much of our school's dedication to its students and faculty to invest time, money, and energy into renovating our creative spaces to be the highest quality they can. And not only will deserving students receive new classrooms and materials, I believe this dedication to the arts will inspire future students to join and broaden our community. And frankly, it's all for the better with the talented and devoted arts faculty we have. Finally, I'd like to give a huge thanks to all the donors for supporting this project. No matter what size, your donation means the world to us. I thank you for recognizing the immense importance that the arts have at Flintard Sacred Heart. And I want you to know that we, the students, appreciate it so much. Thank you, Lauren. With deep gratitude and much appreciation, it is my pleasure to introduce Christy Mozello Larson and the Mozello family. Christy is an alumna of Flintard Sacred Heart, as is her sister Elizabeth. Elizabeth's daughters, Megan, Gabrielle, and Olivia, are graduates of Flintard Sacred Heart also, and Isabella, affectionately known to us as Izzy, the daughter of Eric and Terry Mozello is in her sophomore year. The Mozilla legacy continues on the Hill. Christy served on our board of directors for eight years, 2003 through 2011. In her last three years, she shared her outstanding leadership as chair of our board. She has been significant in securing the gifts of the Mozello Family Foundation which has made this project possible. The strong commitment of the Mozello family through the years is reflected in this beautiful Mozello Family Center for the Arts. Words fail to adequately thank Angelo, 
his beloved and deeply remembered wife, Phyllis, and all their family for their generosity in this and many other Flintridge Sacred Heart projects through their foundation and their personal gifts. Please join me this afternoon in welcoming Christy Mozillo Larson. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Sister Carolyn, and welcome to everybody who's joining us today. What a privilege it is to be addressing you on this day where we open and dedicate the Mozilla Family Center for the Arts. We are immensely proud to be naming the center where young women from Flint Ridge Sacred Heart Academy will have the opportunity to hone their craft, to push themselves to new heights, to express themselves in both the fine and performing arts. The Mozilla family has a long 40 plus year history with Flint Ridge Sacred Heart Academy. My sister Elizabeth, her three daughters and I are all graduates. My niece Isabella is a currently a sophomore and is loving it. My mother was a member of the Mother's Guild and my father was a long time member of the board. This place has our heart. Veritas, faith, integrity, and truth bind the generations who have walked these halls, the young women who have been educated here. These are the values that resonated with my parents from the very first time that they came up the hill. The education teaches leadership, community, how to find and use one's voice. My parents, occasionally to their dismay, learned what it was like to, to raise strong women who have opinions and the ability to reason. This, amongst many other reasons, is why they're giving back in gratitude. Naming this building was important to my mom. She spent countless hours here at ceremonies and uh, plays and recitals and games um, in its pre-transformative state. My parents strongly believe that lowering the barrier to education is what will help us achieve equity. And the arts are a good place to name that true. On this day, we celebrate with the entire Flint Ridge Circuit Heart community on the potential that this building will unlock. So congratulations and hail Flint Ridge, hail. Thank you, Christy. We are grateful to you and to your family. Words fail to express our appreciation. This next person needs no introduction. Please welcome our principal, Sister Celeste Marie. Dear family and friends of Flintridge Sacred Heart, words seem so inadequate compared to the feeling of happiness and pride we have in our hearts right now. Each one of you has made this dream come alive by your gift, not only of money, but of your willingness to walk with us on this Flintridge Sacred Heart educational journey. From the goodness of your hearts, you have given to our Mozilla Family Center for the Arts and have made this a reality for our young women who can now dance, sing, draw, act, create, and just have fun in a well-equipped and beautiful building. Thanks to your loving and generous support, we are able to have this beautiful arts building to enhance our visual and performing arts programs. Special gratitude and love to the Angelo Mazzillo family for the extraordinary gift that allowed us to name the Arts Center after them. You, our donors, have made our dream come true. Each of you has made the Mazzillo Family Arts Center a reality. Not only have you given to a building, you have given to the future of current young women and also for future Tologs yet to come to Flintridge Sacred Heart. With your loyalty and commitment, you have also enhanced our mission as a Catholic Dominican school which educates young women for a life of faith, integrity, and truth. We could not have done this without you, 
without your generosity and without your loving support. Thank you and may the Sacred Heart of Jesus bless you. Thank you, Celeste. Now, join us as we cut the ribbon, officially opening our Mozilla Family Center for the Arts at Flintard Sacred Heart Academy. Following this ribbon cutting, Sister Celeste Marie and I will bless the new building. When the Center for the Arts opens, I imagine I will go see the theater. When the Center for the Arts opens, I'm looking forward to being able to further explore and develop my abilities as an artist, collaborator, and fellow toe-walk. When the Art Center opens up, I'm looking forward to working with the pottery wheels. When the Art Center opens, I'm looking forward to creating new art in a beautiful space where I can be inspired, stay organized, and create art alongside my peers. Definitely when families and friends will be able to come together and enjoy the beauty of the arts through musicals, plays, and concerts. And having all the arts supplies convenient so we don't have to travel back and forth. And I am so excited to finally get to be in the Arts Center as a student. The gift from the donors for a building like this and a space for the arts is so amazing. It elevates the arts and puts it on equal footing with the rest of our subjects here at this school that we're already so strong in. I find the arts fit really perfectly into the mission of Flint Ridge Sacred Heart because they're a way of finding our truth and exploring our truth and then sharing that with others. I think the arts in general are a way to examine our humanity, our you know, who we are as individuals, how we engage with the world, how we relate to others. The creativity and the collaboration and the social and emotional intelligence are important for our young women to then go out into the world after their high school education. What does it mean to be all together under one roof? Um, I think that for myself and for my students, seeing excellence in the other disciplines inspires our own uh, dedication to excellence. I'm so excited to have all of the arts department in one space. We're all really creative individuals and we're all collaborative. And so being able to be in one space together creates this really natural incubator. We are neighbors and now all of these interactions and exchanges are gonna be so much more natural and so much more every day. We may see something happening down in the dance room that inspires something beautiful happening in the theater studio. Same thing with music. Being able to see you know, the beautiful view. I mean, you come up here and you take a look around and you know, you can't help but feel ready to make something and to be excited about it. Sky is the limit. These girls have such imaginations and passion and commitment. Uh, we're gonna be able to do so much. I can't thank our donors enough for giving us this gift and our students are going to excel so much from having a space to be creative and to collaborate and to express themselves. I just cannot wait to welcome our students into the space and to see their faces when they see it. I'm absolutely thrilled to get to use the stage and the new theater classroom with everyone else. It's going to be so cool to have the Art Center so close to the main building so that when we're back in person we'll be even closer to our high school classes than we were last year. They're going to hear it and see it and they're going to want to do bigger, more complex and daring artistic things and that is the future. Risk, dare, collaborate.
Now, please join us for a celebratory toast. We are celebrating a dream come true this afternoon as we bless this beautiful building and celebrate the generosity of so many wonderful committed donors across our community who have made this moment possible. Please lift your glasses with us as we celebrate Veritas alive in the arts on the hill at Flintridge Sacred Heart. Please toast all our Dominican sisters, living and deceased, who have held this dream and prayed for its completion. Please toast all in our community who have had a part in this long-awaited moment. Please receive our Dominican blessing. May God, Creator, bless you. May God, Redeemer, heal you. And may God the Holy Spirit fill you with light. Alleluia.